Hey guys, JCC2224 here, and welcome to another Clone Corner. This time, a review of the 6-inch Black Series Clone Commander Wolf. I've really been waiting for good old CC3636 here. Uh, they revealed it quite a while back, and it took a while for it to come to the U.S. I know this figure's been available for about a month in Canada and some other countries. It took quite a while for me to finally get my hands on it, but I finally did. And this is a very, very nice thing. Is it better than Rex? Spoiler alert, no, it isn't, and I'll show you why. Uh, unfortunately, they they didn't do a lot of the changes that Rex did that were great. Uh, they kept a lot of the old clone trooper going on here. Uh, first off, though, let's look at the, the package, because it's just a Black Series box. You have an image of Commander Wolf right there, oddly enough, with a jetpack, even though the figure does not come with one. Normal Black Series box. He's... Uh, He's number what? Oh, does it even say anymore? I, I don't know. I don't care. I guess he's an exclusive, so he's not numbered. Yeah, I think I think that's where the number would be, but it's not even there. Uh, the read-up says uh, that. If you want to pause that and read that read-up, there you go. And hey, that's the box. Now, if you're wondering where this figure is available... It's available at GameStop, and it's available at Barnes & Noble. I personally got mine at Barnes & Noble. I actually had a GameStop pre-order for a while, but I canceled the pre-order the same day I went and got this at Barnes & Noble because Barnes & Noble has it for $20, however, GameStop has it for $25. I don't know why. I would say try Barnes & Noble first because they have it cheaper. It could be exclusive elsewhere. If it is, it'll say right here, and if it's not exclusive elsewhere, then it's just going to say nothing. <laughs> but first off, let's take a a look at the details on this guy because per usual they're pretty nice taking a look at this helmet sculpt here i really have no complaints this is phase two commander wolf now i gotta say it looks very very neo like in this realistic sculpt it looks even more neo like than it does in the actual uh, animated series i personally have no problem with that it's very obvious that this is indeed a unique helmet uh, aside from Commander Neo, has a very simplistic animated back to it, oddly enough. I'm surprised they didn't try to add some more of the realistic detail, just for comparison. You can see there's there's the more realistic detail. I'm surprised they just kind of kept it simplistic and animated. But, a hey, whatever, it's a Clone Wars animated character made into a realistic figure. Uh, he's got a lot of nice markings. They went ahead and gave him the weathering, which I appreciate. I really wish I'd go back and redo the weathering on Commander Cody because he has none of it. The print's pretty good on this guy. Pretty solid. No real complaints with the print. Um, overall, it's just nice looking. I like the shade of gray. The paint's nice. No real problems. Uh, yet again, soft goods camo here. A little bit of a gray stripe going around it. He's got his normal DC-17 pistols. He just comes with the two, no other weapons, but hey, it's fine. One of the only unique parts to this figure, aside from the head and helmet, is this shoulder pad. He has the little antenna going on there, and it is kind of packed down in the box, so if you want it sticking up, you'll have to heat it up. Speaking of that head I just mentioned, uh, his helmet, like I said, looks very nice, but you can, you can fold that down, just like Captain Rex, and it looks very good. Also, you can remove his helmet, yet again, very tight on him, like Captain Rex, but this Tamora Morrison had, man, I didn't think it could get better, but it just got better. Uh, I will do comparisons with the Jango Fett and the Captain Rex in a little bit. But looking at this head, man, that that crew cut, that scar, the, oh man. The the face print tech looks really nice on his eye there. This is just a, this is just a very pretty looking figure. It's, it's, oh man, ah, ah. It looks very good, however... When it comes to some of the build quality and articulation, there is some problem. Now talking about some build quality issues, these are specific to mine. However, many others could experience these same problems. Looking at the torso here, uh, he's not supposed to have these gashes on his torso. Uh, I'm sure you're seeing those. He's not supposed to have them there, but mine does. I don't really care. I actually think it looks kind of cool, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. They're not supposed to be there, so take a look at yours before you get it. Uh, make sure it doesn't have that problem. One thing, though, right out of the box, I'm not sure if you can see that, that little crack right there at the elbow. Yeah, the, the, the joint, I mean, it still holds, it still works, but it's an open joint, so you can keep pushing it, and you can see it's going to keep wanting to go out. So it's not broken as in a problem, but it doesn't, it, it's open. That, that that part is broken out of the package. So, 
yeah, I would say be careful about that. Don't bend his elbows too much because when it comes to the articulation that I'm just about to go over, you're going to see his elbows and you're going to be kind of, you're going to, you're going to feel a little bit like that. So going over his articulation, he unfortunately uses the old clone trooper body. He does not use Captain Rex's. So moving his head up a little bit, uh, you can see it moves a little more than just a little bit. Moving down, it also moves quite a fair bit. With the helmet on, it will move up about that much, and it will move down about that much. Actually, very, very nice. Shoulders will go outward, but not all of the way because it's the old shoulders and they don't work as well as they could. Swivels at the bicep, double hinge at the elbow, but as you can see, it's just... Ugh. Ugh. Oh man, it's just the 90 like the old ones. And looking at the Captain Rex here, I'm just going to get Captain Rex out for just a second. These are the Captain Rex elbows. Yeah, that's a little more than 90 degrees. Why didn't they use Captain Rex's elbows on this wolf? I have no idea, but it's very upsetting. They revolutionized the, the Six Inch Black Series clone with Captain Rex, but they don't use those new parts on wolf. Ah. This wolf figure is still good, though, but it really does hold it back, since in comparison to Rex, it's not as good as it could be. Nice ab crunch. Legs pretty much do what you would expect. Double knee joint, which works pretty good. Good ankles. Overall, it's just a clone that's in the 6-inch Black series. It doesn't do anything new and unique with the articulation. It's just a clone in this line. It's another clone in this line, so when it comes to the feel of it, there is really nothing new. Comparing the Tamora Morrison heads, I gotta say, Wolf is probably my favorite. I think the Captain Rex still looks very nice, and yes, this is the Hascon version of Captain Rex, and yes, I have seen the actual face-printed Captain Rex. It, it, it's it, honestly, in person, comparing the two, they're not too different when it comes to their looks. Of course, the face print will look better, uh, but hey, I... Let's just say I got the Hascon one, don't really have the need for the face print one. Uh, the Jango Fett is very, very pre-face print. It's pre-really doing good faces for Black Series. He's got some very weird-looking eyebrows, and some I have seen look way worse. Uh, he's kind of looking off to the side, which it eh, really isn't a problem. I think the sculpt is certainly there for the Jango Fett, and it's there for all of them. But I think Wolf with the face print, especially with how Wolf kind of has this 5 o'clock shadow going on, Ah, it's, it's my favorite. I'm not sure if it's the best, because Captain Rex is also very nice, but Wolf is probably my favorite unhelmeted clone from the 6-inch Black series. Now moving on to clone trooper comparisons. Here is Wolf with Captain Rex, and putting on their helmets so you can just see them more properly side by side. These figures just look really good, man. I am, I'm like I've said, I'm kind of done with the 6-inch Black series, but I'm not done collecting clone troopers. So naturally, I'm not done collecting 6-inch clones. They look very nice together. Oh man, I'm so happy that these things exist. Giving some more clone trooper comparisons for the 6-inch Black series, uh, here is Commander Cody as well. And I think Wolf looks pretty alright with Cody. Uh, Cody looks kind of out of place because he doesn't have the nice weathering on him. Uh, putting Commander Gree next to Commander Wolf. Uh, I don't think you ever see them together in the show, but they look very cool as well. I would say Wolf and Rex probably look the coolest together. And another comparison here is Wolf with the standard Phase 2 Trooper. So hey, that, that actually works really well. I'm actually pretty happy with how that looks. One final comparison, mostly for the sake of adorableness. Here it is with the, uh, the old 3 and 3 quarter inch Phase 2 Wolf. And oh man, ah. Uh, Man, that helmet is so big on that three and three quarter inch one. Ah, oh, it's so big. Why is it so big? Ah, uh, looking at him side by side, it's ah, uh, ah. Uh, man, that's so big. But hey, they, they look cool together. Uh, you can tell the shade of gray is slightly different. This figure is way glossier than that. Uh, if there's one thing that this figure does kind of take from Captain Rex, it takes the glossy plastic. But then again, that glossy plastic was first introduced in the Entertainment Earth Order 66 set. So, eh. But still, this wolf is a very nice addition to your 6-inch Black Series Clone Trooper collection. I personally like it very much. If you're a fan of 6-inch clones, you will like it very much. It doesn't do a lot new, unfortunately, because it doesn't use the Captain Rex mold. It doesn't do any changes besides... Basically, all of the new parts are just there. That's it. Uh, maybe the torso is new to accommodate for... Uh, the neck, the proper neck to have the unhelmeted wolf face on, but who knows, uh, it could be slightly different, that may be why the, the plastic's kind of 
little charred and beaten up there. Uh, like I said, look look at the quality of yours when you purchase yours. Mine, personally, I looked at the paint and thought, oh man, the paint is perfect, but I kind of forgot to look at the plastic itself. And, hey, whatever, it still looks fine on the shelf. I'm still very happy with this thing. And I hope you are happy with my review, and I hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed making it. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links down in the description below, as well as my P.O. box address. If you want to send me some memorific goodness or action figures. Also, this will become very dated, but I will be at the Ohio Toy and Comic Show this Sunday, July 22nd, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I probably won't be there the whole time. I'll probably be too spent to stay the whole six hours. <laughs> It will be at the Holiday Inn in Fairborn, Ohio. Be there or be too far away to go there. Anyways, I'm done rambling. Have a good day, and as always, may the Force be with you. Bye.